Hi, this is Peter Dites, Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your astrology reading now for Leo December 2019. So that's Leo December 2019. Now, I feel Leo, you're <laughs> right, you're going to be in the, the mix of things. It's like you're going to sort of part feel great and enjoyable, and it's like it feels though some of you are going to sort of try and get a bit more money sorted for Christmas. It's almost like it feels though. It's not that you want to treat everybody, but you want to lift the energy up around you. It's almost like as you're looking back, it's like for some of you Leos, November has not been a great month. So it's like it feels like you're going to want to make a change. But I also get the feeling now as getting, starting to get really motivated and sort of wanting to empower yourself. It's a bit like some of you have lost your mojo a little bit. You, you've lost your passion. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of reflecting going on now, figuring out as if to say, well, why have I lost that kind of passion? What's going on? Is it work? Is it relationships? Is it just life? You know, what is it? Is it I'm drowning in debt or, or other things? So it's like you're going to do almost like a bit of soul searching. But with soul searching, it's like you tend to look backwards a lot, then to the present and then towards the future. And yes, you will look backwards, but not to that extent, because we've all done things and made things and made mistakes. We all know that. But it's where you're at now is so much important. It's 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 the present where you're at. And I just get the feeling you want to change. But also for some of you, it's like you're trying to get somewhere. But really, are you going down the wrong path for some of you? In other words, you should be focusing on what you're doing and putting your energy into that and building that up. But sometimes it feels like you're so under pressure with other things that you're looking at other things to bring in to fill that gap. And I'm not saying that's wrong. But it's like you're not channel focusing on what you should be doing. So it's a bit like you're all over the place. And especially, especially Leo's, if you're sort of sitting on the cuff on your astrology. In other words, you're sort of part Leo and part Virgo. It's almost like you're being very analytical. And Virgos are very analytical. So it's like you're sort of trying to get everything sorted. You're trying to figure it all out. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And you're trying to be your ambitious self. But because you're overanalyzing it, it's like you're missing something. So, again, that will make some sense to some of you. But I just feel, take a step back and look where, if it's to do with work, look where your money's coming in. And that's where you should be focusing in. It just needs, you need to put a bit more ambition in to get that promotion or go and find a better job so you can get more money. Or if you're in business, then maybe you just need to, push 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 and channel focus and then sometimes in business it isn't always just you sometimes it's the environment around you in other words is the economy slowing down you know and and that can affect you are people struggling with money and that can affect you but yeah you can go out and find more customers but then you can find more customers in the same boat so they'll have a reading or they'll have this or they'll they'll want buy this clothing it's it's so many different things but they can't have it constantly because they're watching the money so this is what you've got to be careful of. So sometimes it isn't you, it's just the environment around you. So this is what you've got to watch out for, you Leos. But overall, I just feel so, you'll figure it out. It, it's almost like this year, I feel so things have had to slow down for you to analyse things, look at it, figure it out, and then as you step into the new decade, you'll start to make these changes but i do see now a new energy coming around you it's building up now it's almost like as if to say you're coming to that decade and it's kind of starting a little bit early for you there's there's something ticking up here where you're thinking about the future and what you're doing and I feel like, you know, success is there for you, Leo's, because you've got the will. You've always got that fire and fight in you. You know, that's why you are the Leo. But at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, we all can have a moment. We all can get a bit down. But you've got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and you will get there. You do not have to be perfect. You cannot be king of the jungle all the time. You know, we all have a moment. We all get fed up. We all can get depressed. But it's about sort of dusting yourself off now, sorting yourself out and saying, right, this is what I need to be doing. 
put that newfound energy into it and away you go. Now, I feel, Neo, with relationships a little bit now, I just feel as though I've got to start sort of sorting out what I want because, again, it's going back to what I've just said. I get the feeling some of you are feeling a bit down and you might be thinking it's your relationship or is it something else? Or is it your relationship affecting everything else? So it's like I feel as though this is where your reflecting's coming in now, trying to figure it out. But I definitely feel whether you're happy or whether you're not happy, you are going to do this analysing. And this analysing may carry on a little bit longer, may go on for another two or three months. But at the end of the day, don't worry about it because sometimes it's good to let things stretch out because that means you're not making snap decisions, you're not making a big uh, mistake and you'll resolve it. Because sometimes if you rush into things, it's like, oh my God, I rocked the boat, wish I hadn't done that because it wasn't that, it was this. So I just feel as though if this reflecting takes a little bit longer and even longer than three months, it doesn't matter. Just let it let it flow. Don't control it. You will know when you figured it out. You'll figure it out in your own time. For some of you that are single, I just feel as though you're not going to be really looking at anything major until around about February because I feel as though that's when you're going to feel a bit energetic. It's almost like I feel so some of you Leos, you don't like the winter period. So I feel like you'll be feeling more energised as things start to pick up around you and the energy really starts to take a shift in February and then I feel like you'll be out there on the look of your potential partner. Okay, but I do feel for one or two of you, you will find a connection in December. But is it a real connection or are we just in that silly season and we've just got a little bit tipsy, a little bit sort of, oh, you know, I want some fun because I'm feeling a bit down. So just make sure you really are connecting with somebody you really do connect to. So I'm not saying don't find anybody, don't let anybody in your life, but just make sure you are quite connected. As otherwise, come January, you could be thinking, mm, what have I done here? I've got to let that person down gently. OK, when it comes to children... I just get the feeling you're not quite connecting with children at the moment. It's like you're being very self-centred. But I just feel so don't worry about it because you need to be self-centred because if you don't sort yourself out, how can you sort children out? Children will be all right sort of doing what they're doing forever they're doing for the next four to eight weeks or a bit longer. They'll be OK. It's not like you're neglecting them. You're just not like shifting your energy on them it's like you're focusing it on you so don't worry about it partner around your girlfriend or whatever might not agree with it but at the end of the day you've got to sort yourself out so just do what you need to do Liam when it comes to family hmm I'm feeling a bit of tension this month a bit of tension uh, and it could be because you're within yourself partners noticing that or uh, out of family, they're not sort of seeing you as quite your bubbly self. And also it would be the joyful season. It's like you're not feeling it because it's a bit like you're, you're out of balance. So, you know, there's going to be certain parties coming up you're going to want to go because you feel like, yeah, I need to make an effort. And there's going to be certain parties coming up or, or whatever that you just feel so, do you know what, I don't want to be here. It's a bit like you're feeling a bit miserable, Leo. So try and make an effort. But if you're not really into it, just maybe shy away from it or just, you know, be your quiet self, have a drink to yourself a little bit. But try put your positive smile on, even if it's a fake smile, but try not to upset family. You know, you've got to try and keep the peace and balance a little bit. But, you know, it's not easy. Hey, it's that funny season. Work. Now, this is where I feel like I'm really drawn to with you, Leo, because I feel so work. This is going to be very interesting. Um, I get the feeling, again, especially more to do with work than relationships. I feel so this is where I feel so you're going to be looking for better. You want perhaps more income so you can do more things and you want to better yourself and, and I just feel as though you're going to be looking at for either a promotion or you're going to be looking at for new jobs but whatever you do don't change your job in December unless you're in that type of company that doesn't get affected by December, December, January declines 
So in other words, you know, focus on what you want and try and implement it in the year. Because if so, I always say if somebody pull in you in January, they always want you. If they pull in you in December, are oh, you going to be there in January? It always makes me wary. Um, so keep an eye on that a little bit. And then for those of you in business, yeah, oh, yeah, you're definitely going to want to search for new clients, customers, sales. You, you're going to want to grow. And, and I feel so in your will, but it's just not going to happen overnight. You know, business just doesn't come just like that. It's not simple. And I also feel so do watch out for the economy around you. The economy is going to fluctuate. So it's like you've got to sort of overcome that and, and feel like you, you've got to overcome it by finding new clients. And I just get the feeling as well, Leo, if you are in business, don't go cutting costs. Because I just feel as though it doesn't always work. You cut your costs and yeah, you've cut your sales. But if somebody still can't afford to buy, it doesn't matter. Or if they, they're holding on to the money, they're going to be holding on to it. So I, I just get the feeling don't cut costs or don't cut your prices, should I say. Um, I just feel find new customers even though it might be difficult i just feel that there's always going to be somebody looking for your service your product who's not happy with what they've got i feel so sometimes it's better to make sure you're giving a good service than a crap service by cutting costs so i feel so that's the way to look at it and then with health i feel so Keep an eye on your hair a little bit, keep an eye on headaches and also keep an eye on stress levels. So more to do with tension around you. So it's a lot going on this month and you're feeling it's affecting you within yourself and it's got to come out of you in some way. But overall, you'll be all right, Leah, so don't worry too much. But I just feel as though do your reflecting, take your time. Think about where you're going, what you're doing, and it will all gradually come together for you, Leo. Okay, um, so I hope all that's made sense. Uh, I hope you do have a great Christmas, even though you're feeling a bit mm, in the middle of it all. And, you know, and have a great new year that's coming. And also, if you do want any private readings for a little bit more personal guidance, you know where I am. Okay, so I wish you well, I wish you all the best and, and a fruitful, prosperous year, which is what you're going to be looking for. Thank you for listening.